the new video. Um, it's the same skull like the video before, this time in a different side. And uh, thanks to Jim Ray, um, there are some some weapons that are put to this skull, so you can paint it like just a single skull, or with the knife, or with the axe, or with both. So actually, you got like four different pictures here. So I'm using an opaque white for the start and now I'm switching to of the black opaque so for um, using and cleaning the stencils um, my working concept is based on like the first stencil you use in this case it's the black and everything else what's like used in um, this video or in this this picture is based on the black so now the gray even if it would be dirty you can just still see uh, the, the points where it's related to the first black so this was a dark gray now it's a lighter gray and you got like a really detailed skull I'm using a transparent brown now for making like the skull tones and now I'm using a transparent red for the background so as you can see there's a nice combination between the light brown and the red so you get also variations of uh, orange tones this is now a yellow and again you got combinations of the red, the brown and the yellow so this is the cover-up stencil which includes the first white um, so you see even if this stencil is completely dirty you still related to the first black and if you follow the outline you can place it and do perfect uh, highlights so now comes the weaponry uh, each weapon is separated in two parts so this is the handle of the knife and um, it has like four parts So you get first the black, then you do a light white which ends in a grey and a full white for the highlights. Um, I have a, a separate stencil so you can uh, put color to the handle. But I'm not using it here in this video. But you can see it there on the stencil. So now I have the the hand on and now comes the blade and uh, there's the, the axe or tomahawk handle and the axe blade So I'm using black as the first stencil and then two times white. So white with less opacity to achieve a light grey and then a full white for the highlights. And there you have like nice detailed axe head. Same for the blade. 
a light grey and a full white and you have a shiny blade Now you can put um, color to this this um, picture to the single parts of the weaponry. And uh, I'm using the red for some blood drops on the knife, and then you're nearly finished with this picture. And because of the separation, you can like do several um, pictures. So without the weapons or one weapon, both weapons, you can put, you can mirror the whole image so that the knife will show in a different direction. Or you can put it like on the side of the head as you want. Okay.